Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about latest real estate market. Many people are thinking it's going to be a recession and the prices is going to go down by 30 to 40 percent. Whereas, I personally don't believe on that. I have my own logics. So let's get into it. Why I think market is not going to go down as much as you think. As we all know how the market was a couple of months before, especially until March 2022, the prices were skyrocketing. So what happened all of a sudden that market changed for the same houses for which you and me were willing to pay $200,000, $300,000 more than the asking price. Now we are not willing to buy even on the listing price or even on a good negotiation. So what changed all of a sudden? Did you lose your job? Maybe not. Did somebody take the money out of your account? Maybe not. So something happened all of a sudden in these 30 days that market came on a standstill mode and people are not willing to pay as much money as they were willing to pay earlier. I will tell you what has changed. The only change that happened is mindset. At that time, everything was going on a positive mode and all of a sudden everything turned into negative. Now let's go back and see what changed in the world all of a sudden that the negative mindset started building up. You all know a war started between Russia and Ukraine. And because of that war, the oil prices all of a sudden started skyrocketing. What was selling earlier $60, $70 a barrel has gone more than $100, $120. We all understand when the price of oil goes up, it makes a lot of impact on the prices of other commodities because all the movement happens because of the oil so everything started going up now let me ask you something you know there are people who are sitting at top having millions and billions of dollars what is their business their main business is either they sell oil or they sell commodities either we talk about Walmart or we talk about any of those big brands now this was an opportunity for them Especially those who produce oil, they decrease the supply of oil so that the price of the oil can go more high. Now, they were getting double the money for half the product. And same is the case with those big brands, those big business houses who have millions and billions of dollars. They also saw that as an opportunity and the prices of all those commodities started going up. Simultaneously, they started spreading negative news through the media which they dominate or which they control and all of that started creating building a negative atmosphere and just because of that negative sentiment people stopped the circulation of money they stopped buying they stopped talking about investing in real estate or investing in stocks and also you see what happened to the stock market the stock market and real estate prices are coming down just because of that negative sentiment. Now, these big business houses, their business is to sell the oil, to sell the commodities. And when they sell that, they get money. And what they buy with that money is the real estate and stocks. So they smartly spread that negative news so that the real estate and stocks can come down. Now, they knew the impact of increasing prices will bring inflation and banks will be forced to increase the rate of interest. And that is exactly what happened. Now they got the opportunity to buy the real estate on lower prices and buy the stocks on lower prices. And this phenomena is going to go for maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. But is it going to sustain for a long time? Maybe not. Because as and when they start buying the stocks and real estate, the prices will again start going up. And that is the time when they will stop buying that and the prices of the commodities will come down. So guys, this is a well thought plan by those big corporate houses. And if you look at the history in North America, this is exactly what happens after every five and 10 years. Earlier, the recession was planned after every 10 years, but now it is being planned after every five years because those big corporate houses 
they want to make sure they get more money by selling their stuff and they buy the stuff cheap which is the stocks and the real estate do you think it makes sense to you but it makes a lot of sense to me and i'm pretty sure you will agree with me up to some extent now the another big reason why the prices is not going to come down as much as we are thinking do you know there's 1 million houses are deficit in ontario and every year there's almost 400000 immigrants coming from various part of the world and 60 to 70% stays in ontario they need accommodation they need place to go and live they want to eat they want to spend money and that is what is the real strength of the economy in canada do you think those 3 400000 immigrants they gonna stop coming to this country just because the prices of the real estate are going down they will be more attracted because for them this is the time to buy and let me share some in depth analysis of the immigration 10 15 years before when a new immigrant was coming to this country they were coming with maybe 5000 or 10000 dollar now a new immigrant when he comes into this country they are coming with millions in their pocket because they know canadian real estate market is one of the best in the world and they want to make investments over here so that 400000 immigrants is going to keep the real estate market on a very strong footing now the third reason why i believe the real estate market is not going to come down especially in few parts in canada let's talk about gta let's talk about edmonton and calgary let's talk about vancouver these are the places which are dominated by south asian community or chinese community those communities are saving communities they keep a lot of cash as savings with them they look for these kind of opportunities when the prices is going to come down and the moment prices come down a little bit they start buying real estate because they love real estate and that is what gonna push the market back in the upward direction so that's a very strong reason which i personally believe will help to go market in the upward direction in coming 2 to 3 months now another important point which people fail to analyze especially those who are living in this country from last 30 40 years they always try to compare today's market with the market which it was 30 40 years before they always bring that point oh you guys don't know what happened in 1980s 1990s the rate of interest has gone up by 10% 15% but they fail to understand one thing at that time the economy of the country was totally different canada was totally dependent upon us for its economy but in last 10 15 years it has become an independent economy and especially real estate is playing an important role do you know real estate contributes maximum in the gdp of canada so think about it how this can go down because it's going to tank the whole economy into the negative direction whereas neither the government nor the banks nor the big business houses and neither you and me want the recession to come because if recession comes you and me will have a job problem you and me will have a problem buying groceries and especially over day to day needs so it is not good for any of us so guys don't just keep thinking the market will crash or the prices are going to come down more 30 40% especially to the buyers and especially to the first time buyers my strong message this is the time for you to buy because the prices has already settled down rate of interest might increase a little bit more that might increase your monthly payment so at this point of time you have a good opportunity to go and look for a house of your choice do the best negotiation get the best rate from the bank and buy the house of your dreams because that is what is going to help you in future you might keep thinking that oh the price is going to come down more yes that might happen a little bit but at the end of the day what is the limit for that you have to make that call at some point of time i will also talk a little bit about all these news in the media by the top economists by the bank of canada by cmhc and so many other reliable sources which we always look up to but just do a little bit research go on google and find out the old news the old predictions by them and you will come to know how many of them were wrong and that will give you an understanding 
why these news comes into the market. It is basically just to create a negative mindset so that the big brands, the bigger business houses can bring the price down for the stuff which they want to buy and that is real estate and stocks. So a smart investor, a smart buyer will go against the wind. When people are selling, you need to buy. When people are buying, you need to sell. That is the real formula of making money. Either it is real estate or stocks. I don't know too much about stocks, but trust me, I have a good experience in real estate industry because I have sold 15,000 houses. I have sold and bought hundreds of houses for myself and made a good fortune, not only for me, but for my family and my friends as well. So choice is yours. If you want to rely on my advice or if you want to rely on the advice of your friends and family members who just did a couple of transactions and that too, sometimes they might have lost money, sometimes they might have made money. But in every single real estate transaction, I made money because my decision making was based on timing, based on the market factors and I always learn to swim against the tide and that helped me a lot. You can take an advantage from my advice and make money in real estate. And I promise you, you will never go wrong. But absolutely, it is your decision. It is your choice. I am just there to give you my advice. Thank you very much. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so because I'm going to bring a lot more contents like this and it will be a lot of thought provoking for you. Maybe any of my discussion brings you a new thought process and you make a decision and that decision might make you thousands and hundred thousands of dollars in real estate. Thank you very much. Stay tuned, stay happy and stay healthy. I love you all.